really bad. You must have questions. Sam Rudy. I feel like this is like a White House press thing, you know. I'd like to thank you. So what, what's the status of your, do you have some television project, a film project? Yes, Just, okay. yes, yes. Well, it's been cooking for two years. I don't know how anything, how anything gets done out in that town. Um, I was with Warner Brothers. Charlie Sheen was going to produce the TV series. Um, and we realized in the nth hour, and Jim Halterman can understand this, side of the business, we all realized it was not the right fit. And it was, it's a good thing that we parted. So just weeks before the strike, Showtime called. They had gotten one pitch for the TV show and then said, get the book to us ASAP. Oh, they said that. Um, and then the strike happened, so I cannot speak to them during the strike. So just cross your fingers and your eyes and your legs and, and hope. hope. I, I think, you know, when I finished the first book, I truly felt that this was a beautiful blueprint for a TV series, so I'm still hoping. How do you think the book made the transition from from being a gay book to a relationship book? I think people, well, for example, I got an email recently from a grandmother in New England, and she's, she said she was straight. A gay friend of hers had read it and loved it, and she gave it to her gay son. I've gotten an email from a woman out in Ohio who is a single mom with two kids. She's dating. She said, I dated all of these men. Um, it's just that they happen to be straight. So I think, I think people really do see that it's crossed you know, those lines. Mary Lou? Hi. Um, I, was, I loved your character, Dr. Magda, and um, was, of course, disappointed in her demise. Shh. But, <laughs> you did sort of. La, 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 la. <laughs> anyway, um, I was wondering about her sister showing up. Was her sister in any way the same kind of thing? Uh, Petra, Petra, yeah, Petra, you know, as tall as Magda was. I mean, Magda was like, if, if, if B. Arthur had sex with Maria von Trapp, that would be like, like her love, their love child. And she was, I don't know, if you remember, like, in On Picking Fruit, Curtis was, like, obsessed with her, thinking, I really think she's a man, and, like, yeah. like, if, like, could I fit in her shoe? Could I fit like two feet in her shoe? If my is my cheek big enough to hit to fit her hand if she slapped me across the face? Of course he's thinking this while he's in therapy. But she is very much like her sister. She's um she's very um like I said before, she's very full of life and and adorable and 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 a lesbitarian. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> How long did it take you to write the second book? How long? Yeah. Oh, I mentioned this on the show yesterday. I'm embarrassed. Um, I think it took three and a half weeks. But you know, I, I write pretty fast when it happens. But also, um, my editor, has he shown up yet? <laughs> my editor who isn't here um, for my book launch, um, he asked if I would do an outline. and. Uh, and uh, it was great to work from that, and it made the writing go very quickly. Bobby Rivers! Did you have a literary agent when you were working on the first book? And if you didn't, how long did it take you to get one? Did you have one? No, I did it all on my own. You may not, you, you might not know this, but I originally published on Picking Fruit um, myself. And Allison found it too. Months later, in fact, it was the advocate's office where uh, it was sitting in a dump box. And you know, we're all owned by the same company, Planet Out. And uh, my editor, uh, my p marketing person at Allison had gone down and seen the book in the dump pile. And he asked them, what is this? And they said, oh, it's something self-published. You can have it. And uh, two hours later, they called me and offered me the multiple book deal. So no, I did everything with theatrical lawyers. Thank you for our lawyers. Um, and I've continued not to work with an agent. I decided, you know, I think things are changing, so I'm keeping control. Ideal fantasy, who would play first? You know who I'd like? I'd like Paul Rudd. You know, he's, 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 he's handsome, but he's not intimidating. I'd, I'd, I'd like Paul Rudd. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we all would. <laughs> uh, who else came up? Jason Bateman came up. Uh, Charlie talked about doing it. And, mm. um, and there was uh, one other person, but I think Paul Rudd would be really great. And we've been actually courting Anne Margaret as the mother. And I think a lot of people would love to see her, especially on television, and to see her play that kind of raunchy role. And she is, she's a nice woman. <laughs> Gosh, look at all these faces. Thank you so much. Um, if that's it for questions, Sylvia Towson, singer extraordinaire. No, I, I've been plugging everybody. So um, if, that was um, so we can we can sign books now. If some of you don't know how this works, you know you just grab a book and and I can sign it, and then you have to pay for it on the way out. That's how it works out. But thank you very much.